it's really beautiful to get onto a river and everything else disappears, whether it's good or bad or whether, you know, what's happening in your life, all of it kind of dissolves once you step into the water. My name is Lauren Street and I love to fly fish. My family was pretty outdoorsy. Um, as a kid, we used to go camping and fly fishing. Uh, my dad owned fly fishing shops from the time I was really little um, through most of my life. So I don't ever remember a time not fly fishing. Uh, he used to put me in a baby backpack and go out on the river with me on his back. So it's been a pretty big part of, I would say, my whole life. The perfect day on the river would be getting up early, uh, obviously having a cup of coffee and um, trying to get out on the river as early as possible. Sun up to sun down, bring snacks with you and um, coming back at dinner time and hopefully catching a bunch of fish, that would be ideal. If you're fishing for trout or really any type of fish, you're not going to be in an ugly place. Fly fishing has, has definitely connected me to certain areas and really any area that you get out in and, and see trout and just the, the ecosystem around them working and working well. Um, when you see that happen, it, it really brings everything into perspective. I think for me when I'm on the river, it's actually the lack of thinking, which <laughs> sounds silly, but I think that's what people are trying to achieve. You get into that flow state where you're not really thinking about anything and that's kind of the point. Being outside, um, it's very meditative, just the actions of it and it's a big puzzle. So you're looking at what's hatching, uh, what does the water look like? You're reading the water, You, what type of species are you going for? What type of fish? Um, so it's just all these puzzle pieces that you're putting together and it, it's just, it's super relaxing. It all is also keeps you very um, intrigued like the whole time. As a woman, there's always different precautions and things that you have in your mind when you're outside and when you're by yourself, just like if you're by yourself walking through a city or town at night. Um, you get treated differently when you're not um, when you're not a guy. And so I still walk into fly ships all the time and I get the question, have you fly fished before? And you know, they don't ask that to everyone. They ask that to certain people. I would say that uh, folks that fly fish often get the stereotype put on them that it's a very snooty type outdoor sport, which, you know, there's a range with every outdoor sport. There are definitely people out there that um, can afford every piece of gear, you know, known to man, but um, yeah, there's also people that do it really simply and go out with a Tinkara rod and a handful of flies and that's all the gear that they have. So it's just, it's a range. So I would say that fly fishing and being out in different areas has definitely made me um, connect with a lot of places in the outdoors and quite frankly a lot of places that if I wouldn't be fly fishing then I wouldn't see. I think the biggest takeaway is protect the places that that still have intact wild populations because um, they're not going to be here forever and if we want them to be we will have to fight for them. It's an amazing sport to get into and it's a, it's a new way to experience um, wild areas. So just get out there and do it.